Hi there, this is Darren O'Neill from Darren's Tech Tutorials and DarrenO'Neill.eu. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to install Windows Server 2016 on VirtualBox. To do so, we're going to use the uh, Windows Server 2016 trial that's available from Microsoft. So, first thing I want to do here is I'm going to Google Windows Server 2016 trial. And I'll hit return. And you can see I'm being brought to Windows Server free trial. I'll leave this uh, link on the page where you can get it and you can just pop that link into your browser if needs be. So I'm gonna click to download the free trial on premise. And this will take me to another page now here. Okay, so I'm gonna select ISO, I'm gonna click continue. And you can see be prompted to enter some details. So put in your details here, so we'll say Darren. Neil, Darren O'Neill. Uh, obviously put in details that are relevant to you. And I am in Ireland, so we'll do that. And then we'll click continue. And I'm gonna select my language here, which is English, and I'll click download and I'm gonna save the file. So this will take a few minutes to download. So what I'll do is I'll pause the video here and we'll meet back here in a few minutes. Okay, great, my trial is downloaded now. So we're gonna jump straight into VirtualBox here. So let me just pull this across here. And we're gonna come up here and we're gonna click on new. And we're gonna give our machine a name. So I'm gonna say Windows Server 2016. And you see here, uh, VirtualBox has selected the right thing for so it's Microsoft Windows, Windows 2016 64-bit. I'm gonna give it four gigs of RAM. If, if you have less space in your machine, that's okay. Just um, give it something that's adequate for you. I'm gonna create a virtual hard disk now. So I'm gonna click Create. And I'm gonna leave this as 50 gigs. I'm gonna leave it dynamically allocated and I'm gonna click Create. Cool, and I'm just gonna right click on my machine here and I'm gonna click Settings. And we're just going to go through a few of these settings here. So I'm going to click on system and I want to click on processor and I'm just going to give it an extra processor. If you don't have this, there's no need to worry. Then I'm going to click on storage. I want to click on the empty disk here. I'm going to click this little disk symbol. I'm going to choose virtual optical disk file. And I'm going to select the, the uh, Windows server that we just downloaded. And I'm going to click open and I'm going to click OK. Okay, perfect, so that's done for us now. So now I'm just gonna to click to start the virtual machine. Okay, so we can see the machine is beginning to boot up here. So I'll just pause the video while this is booting up. Okay, so we're getting some options here. So I'm gonna leave the language as English United States. Um, I'm gonna leave the time and currency formats English United States, just cause this is a test install. And I'm gonna leave the keyboard as US, that's fine. And I'm gonna click next. And I'm gonna click install now. And we should get a few more options here momentarily. So let me just pause the video again here. Okay, so I'm gonna click here that I don't have a product key. And I'm gonna click the uh, Windows Server 2016 standard desktop experience. And I'm gonna click next. Okay, I'm gonna accept the license agreements and I'm gonna click next. And here I'm gonna click custom install Windows only. And I'm gonna select that 50 gig drive that we created and I'm gonna click next. And we can see the installer will begin now. So this will take um, a good few minutes. So what I'll do is I'll pause the video again and we can come back when this is complete. Okay, so we're looking good here. Um, my Windows machine is rebooted and I'm now being uh, prompted to enter a password. So let me put in a password here. And I'm gonna click finish. And just to mention, um, if you get stuck in the window, just press the right control key and your mouse will be released. So it looks, this looks really good. So let me just do um, input here, keyboard, and insert the control alt delete. And let's make sure we can log in. And this looks good. So that's really all there is to it to install Windows Server 2016 in VirtualBox. Um, I hope this was useful. If you encountered any issues, please do comment below. And if I can help, I certainly will. And thank you for watching.